this is Randall with KarateGodTraining.com. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to position your base foot or the foot that's on the ground in the correct position while you're doing the ground kick. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Is the base uh, beginner mistake I see when uh, students first learn the ground kick is that they tend to stand too far in front of the target and end up kicking with their toe like this. And the reason why this happens is because this foot that's on the ground of the base foot is not positioned properly. Now what I did is, let's say this is the target that we're kicking right here. It's pointing off in this direction. What I'm doing is I'm drawing a line from that target, so a perpendicular from that target, and that's why I put this piece of black tape on the ground right here, to simulate that. What you want to do when you practice is you want to draw this imaginary line in relation to your target. Now what you want to do is when you take your base foot, you want to turn it sideways or perpendicular to this line. So you see how my foot's positioned like this. If I were to kick with my uh, left leg, I would turn it in this position. Now, I'm going to go back to the other side here. Here's the thing is, once I position that, at the very minimum, this foot has to be in the middle of the line, or even better, if you want more power and fall through, it needs to be past the line in this direction. When you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to tend to hit with your shin bone and get more fall through and power on the kick. Whereas if you position your foot too far in front of that line, that's when you start kicking with your toes and start hurting your toes and hurting your ankles. So once again, think about that line, put your foot on that line, or even better, put it off to the side, and then keep the knee bent, keep the foot turned sideways, and then you go and slam your shin bone in there a lot better. Another mistake beginners make is they, they position their base foot on the line, but their foot is turned too far forward. So notice how my toes are kind of turned at an angle. When you do this, you can still do the round kick, but you won't have as much power because you're not turning your hips and twisting them over as much. If you turn that foot completely sideways, keep your knee bent, it's going to force you to roll these hips over, and you'll get a lot more power in the long run. So watch how I position my foot completely sideways, on the line, pass it, and bam, like that. If I was doing it on the other side, it would look like this. Either on the line, or slightly past it. Bam. Either on the line, or slightly past it. So in my opinion, this is the most important thing to focus on, especially if you're a beginner, is to make sure that you position your base foot properly. Make sure it's on the line, or past it, and also make sure that the foot is completely turned sideways to that line, like that, or like that. If you do that, Putting your base in the proper position tends to fix a lot of the other problems that tend to happen with the round kick. So anyways, buckle down on your uh, correct base foot positioning and it's going to fix a lot of problems. Alright, thanks for watching.